Hi. Hello. Good morning. And welcome back to Talking with Kitties. She is girlfriend. I am girlfriend. <laughs> he is boyfriend. <laughs> I did that on purpose. You I know. Didn't, you yes. didn't find that cute. You're just sitting there staring what, at me. I didn't know what to do with it. I'm like, uh, <laughs> my brain just went pew. I wanted it to be all about me. F them kitties. It's all about me. F them kitties. Oh, Speaking that, of here's, kitties, here's hi, Finny. Finnegan. Finnegan went in for his vet appointment on Thursday. It was basically a checkup and he needed his booster shots, his vaccinations. Yes. Yeah, they knocked him out pretty good. He went in Thursday morning. Today's the first day that he's been semi back to normal. And we're recording this on a Sunday. Yeah. He was out for the past couple of days. He had me really worried. Yeah. He would barely walk. It was like a struggle to get him to stand up and walk. And then he would come in to eat and have like maybe a bite and then just look so dejected and sad at you and then just lay his head down. He slept the, the entire whole, time. The yeah. entire time. The first night. We went to go to bed and we keep our door closed now because he's, he's a bad. rambunctious. He gets the zoomies at like one or two o'clock in the morning and wants to play. Mm -hmm. Wants to play, meaning he jumps up on our bed and wants us to join in. Mm -hmm. So the door's usually shut. But Thursday night, we went to go to bed and he was already sound asleep on our bed. And I looked at Aaron and went, oh, let's just let him stay tonight. Slept the entire night on our bed. Never mm -hmm. got off the never bed. Moved. Never even moved. We're used to Bubs. Bubs goes in. Bubs bounces back from anything so quick so quickly like he'll get his vaccines he'll be under the weather for like a couple hours that evening and the next day he's fine again yeah he's had a couple surgeries and they warn us they're like hey it might be a couple days or so and like the next day he's good he bounces back so quick from everything having a cat that doesn't bounce back quite so quick just like oh uh, no 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 it's just not bubs i mean casper used to bounce back not i've never met a cat that bounces back no. quicker than bubs no. but casper was fairly good at bouncing back like mm -hmm. it would be like a full day mm -hmm. and then like 24 hours and then she'd be fine yeah and gizzard's about the same way but finney like just dragged it out for three yeah. days yeah. i he, was really worried about him he's a dude so he, like i said he had the man flu i love that so much yeah he had the man flu he was down for a couple of days you don't understand how bad it was no. for him he had the man flu <laughs> i do though i even did my whole taking care of him like i would if you had the man mm -hmm, flu mm -hmm. because the first night he wouldn't even get off the bed to come and eat dinner so i grabbed a handful of food and put it in front of him mm -hmm. on the bed and let him eat on the bed he didn't feel good he didn't he didn't feel good at all i really felt bad for him yeah like i said he's feeling better today he's... we know he's feeling better because at four o'clock this morning yeah, he decided yeah. to jump up and cry because he was hungry or wanted us up i'm not sure which and stand on me both. and walk over me and... so he walked up between us mm -hmm. stood on i don't know if you even know this stood on my pillow and head butted me no, head butted I... my head and was like purring like crazy and head butting me trying to get me to move and no, i'm like I totally missed that like no finny and i like mm -hmm. kind of and then that's when he walked on you uh, sorry yeah i totally missed all that i just woke up with a cat on top of me i was like oh this is why we closed the door all right <laughs> you didn't hear him no. oh wow he came up and he was just Chirping. he was doing his squeak toy squeaking like the whole time like mm. squeak 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 and then he walked yeah, up yeah. he like kind of pawed at me and i didn't move so then he stood on my pillow and did the whole head butting my head i'm like are you kidding me like it was so cute there's a gizzard and i really had to pee so i got up and peed and then then i had to pee closed the door well i closed the door first yes. so he couldn't come back in and then i had to pee so what I is with what is with the, the poo fortress down here. Everybody loves it. When we're down here, everybody's mm -hmm. like, we must use that poo fortress. We gotta check this out. I just cleaned it out Friday. Because so. Finney came down. That's where Finney was coming out of when he came mm -hmm. in. And, well, Gizzard, I guess, didn't use it. She just went to sniff it and go, hmm. It what? smells like boy. What have these boys been doing in my poo fortress? Bunch of jerks. It's true, Gizzard. They are a bunch I of jerks. I love that it's called the poo fortress, though. Yeah. Now Bubs is going Now Bubs is going into the poo fortress. Whenever I cleaned it out, there were some big old pee clumps in there that were too big for a little girl. So I know somebody's been peeing in there that wasn't supposed to. I mean, anybody can use it. Anybody's allowed to use it, yeah, but it's the Gizzards. And if they use it too much, she won't. Finney's the only one, I'm pretty sure, that uses the poo fortress on the third floor. Yeah. And Bubs... Bubs is such a jerk. So Bubs had his vet appointment the week before last, and they're doing a wellness thing because of which his Which we still haven't barfing. heard anything, which makes me really nervous. It's either um, really nervous or super calm, because it's like, well, no news is good news. Yeah, that's kind of how I'm looking at it. Yeah, they're doing a wellness check on him because of the barfing, which has dialed back a little bit. He hasn't been barfing as much no. as he was. He had a couple big hairballs come out this yes, week. Yes, he did. So, I'm thinking it had a lot to do uh, with that. I'm pretty sure it was, but... They needed a poo sample. Mm -hmm. Was it Monday? It was Monday. 
Bubs always poops after lunch. Yes. Always poops after lunch. <laughs> so I had the other two cats locked in for lunch and I fed him and I just kind of stood there and waited and waited and waited. And he, of course, would not go to the litter box. So I let the other kitties out and it was off doing something, but was listening. And then I heard the scratch and I went running over and there he was in the litter box dropping his deuce. And I was like, yes. And it's always really easy because he doesn't usually bury his poop. He scratches around, but just doesn't bury it. Just leaves that stinky stuff laying right on oh, top. I was like, all right, I'm just going to scoop those out. And he was still in there. And I went in and started digging around to get his poop out into this little thing. And he saw me doing it and like got offended or something like, no, you will not take my poop. So that day he decided to bury it. <laughs> so I'm sitting there trying to dig out his poop and he's just flinging litter at my hand. And I was like, what the fuck <laughs> are you doing? Stop it. I managed to get a lot of poop. You managed to get just the right amount of poop yes i guess if you want bubs to bury his poop he's got to dig in there and play with it a little bit while he's pooping and then he'll bury it does any other cat owner or pet owner know the routine of their animals and how they when they go to as a so eloquently put it drop a deuce drop a deuce well we've had to take several stool samples in for them and we, kind have, of figured it out. we have and he doesn't bury his poop so it's always not. whenever the whole house starts stinking it's like oh he dropped a deuce so yeah. you know when it happened that's pretty gross yeah i, I think that his poop oh my god smells worse oh than god. either of ours yeah, it does it's mm-hmm. bad and He's he knows it too. He does. He's like it's like a point of pride. For it him, is I like think. a point of pride. He's like, yeah, I dropped that. Yeah, like, yeah, that's mine, that. and you can clean it up. He comes out all strutting a little he bit, like, yeah. but then runs away because he's like, I don't want to smell it. I don't want to smell it. <laughs> Here you go, guys. I swear, yeah, for a while present. there, he was saving it up. Like, oh, they're in the room. I'll drop it now. Oh my god, <laughs> he used to do that all the time. Anytime mm-hmm. we were near a litter box, that's mm-hmm. when he would decide he had to go in. And he would drive us out of rooms before. He has he just, multiple it's times. It's just like, oh, I can't do this. Let's go. If you had buried it, wouldn't be so bad. But it's like he takes pride in it and wants to make sure everybody knows that it's his. Yeah, <laughs> like a little well, kid this. with an arts and crafts. Yeah, I made you this. I made this for you guys. You're welcome. Oh, thanks, buddy. That's, that's buddy. Wonderful. We are not putting it on the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. No. <laughs> I'm thinking of like... No, no. I don't even want to know what you're thinking. Like sealing it in a resin block, like a clear resin block with magnets on the back and just put on a... What's this? It's Bosco's poo. He made it just for us. Yay. We'll put little like sparkles in it too. He, like arts and crafts. You have to let him put the sparkles in oh, it. You have, to, you have to put a container beside it and let him bat the container over. Yeah. All right. So he does it all I himself. thought you meant like fed him the sprinkles so they no, come no, out no, sprinkly. No, 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 no. They do have edible sprinkles. Mm. Or not sprinkles, but... I mean, anything's edible if you eat it. Not sprinkles. What is it called? Glitter. Yes. They do have edible glitter, but I don't... I feel like they probably dissolve in That's you. Probably they probably wrong, yeah. don't go through the mm. whole process. I can't imagine you have sparkle poops. That'd be awesome. I would eat it. Well, then I... Just to feel a little bit better about myself in the morning. I will get you some edible sparkles, and I'll feed you edible sparkles and corn. Mm, there you so go. you can yeah. see if your corn is sparkly. sparkly. And then we can get... I am so sorry to everyone. <laughs> so it lights up. Lights. Yeah, I'll just have a little rave. A little rave. In the toilet. In the toilet bowl. Yeah. This is my plan. Can you plan this for the week that I'm on vacation? Nope. Damn it. Can you not make me see it? Nope. Damn it. We share everything. Oh, honey, there's some things that maybe we should reconsider that. Maybe, but we still do. We do. (laughs) That's true. You like it. I do, for the most part. I don't know that I would like you sharing your sparkle poops with me. I'm going to share with everyone. You would. That's true. Mm -hmm. Do they still have that awful website online? Share your poo? No, it was Rate Rate My my Poo. poo. Yeah, I don't know. Let's find out. Oh my God, are you really going to look it up? To the internet. So for Mm -hmm. anyone who has never had the joy... I'm saying that very sarcastically. No, but there's a subreddit now. Oh, great. So there used to be a website called Rate My Poo, yeah. where you would go onto this website and there were pictures of people's poop literally in the toilet and you would rate it mm. from like one, was it one to five or oh, one to 10? I don't, I don't know. But you would rate it and then they would get a cumulative rating. They didn't tell you what you were rating, whether it looked awful or good. I don't know. It was the you most, the poo, I okay. obviously never went there on my own account cord, nor did I ever rate a poo. Most of the boys that I was friends with thought it was fantastic. It's great. In fact, I recall one of my friends, not you, sat and rated poo for a good hour at Mm -hmm. least the one time we were at a mutual friend's house. You got something to do, you can do it. And occasionally would go, oh my God, guys, you have to look at this. And then all the guys in the house ran over Mm -hmm, to look, and mm -hmm. I did not. They made me look at like two, and I'm like, guys, I can't. This is just gross. Like, why? 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 
Why are boys so disgusting that they thought this was a good idea? It's just dudes. When we were, when I was in high school, me and the the computer lab crew were working on what we called the shit list. Okay. Which was just, it's like urban dictionary for poops. It was different types of poops and the definition of how they are. So like the ghost poop where you feel the poop come out, but you look in the bowl and there's nothing there. Okay. Just a, just different, like that's a, okay. for, the list was triple digits. Damn. Multi-page. And you were coming up with these on your own? I or? was not coming up. I was doing the illustrations for it. You were drawing It was a them. release. It was a whole release that we did, like printed it out with watermarked backgrounds on all the pages with illustrations and everything. And yeah, it was a, it was a crowdsourced thing. A whole lot of different people would put in their, their, um, this was in high school. This was in high school. And they literally like loved it. Mm -hmm. Oh, good Lord. It was the thing we did. The shit list. That's Mm -hmm. not as bad because you're not taking like a real picture. No, no, no. You're drawing it. So it would be funny. Yeah. Like I could see that being more entertaining. We're talking late 90s. Oh, that's true. But that does sound quite entertaining. Mm-hmm. Let's let's go down memory lane with memory poop. Memory lane with poop. So girls don't poop mm-hmm. unless you're Becca. Becca poops. Yeah. Becca poops and is proud to admit that she poops. But typically, typically. girls don't poop. Mm-hmm. In college, one of the girls who lived in the dorm room beside me my first and second year, I believe I was there, she was adamant that she didn't poop and her roommate did not believe her. She tried to catch her for a year. Tried to catch her pooping? Yes. When Val would wake up in the middle of the night and go to the bathroom, her roommate would sneak into the bathroom. Now, it, it's like a big bathroom, so mm-hmm. it's not like grote. Like, mm-hmm. but she would sneak into the bathroom and be like, what you doing? And Val's like, I'm peeing. She tried to catch her for an entire year. And she made a graph titled Days Without Val Pooping. Val went the entire semester hmm. without being caught pooping. That's pretty shitty. It was very entertaining. So I go I'm back sure. to that sometimes. We would all hang out like the four of us, with those two roommates and then my roommate and myself. And occasionally we would go over, we would have movie Sunday nights. So Sunday mm-hmm. night we would all get together and watch a movie every Sunday without fail. Her roommate would be like, as you can see on the graph. So this is like a wall mounted graph? Oh, oh yes. That's fantastic. Yeah. So they had bunk beds uh-huh. and she was on the bottom bunk. So she had it mounted on the wall behind her bed hmm. so she would be like as you can see here from the statistics she could she could look at it while she falls asleep yeah, at night yeah last thing she sees yeah. at night first thing she sees in the morning yep. poo chart yeah. oh. and not her own poo chart no not her own poo chart <laughs> no nope. that's something that's dedication uh, the gotta, entire semester yeah that's some dedication because the first craft. semester that they they lived together she didn't do it and mm-hmm. then val kept saying i don't poop i don't poop i don't poop so the second semester she's like i'm gonna get you and she didn't she didn't that's hilarious though but Val yes. was really proud of her Herself. And at the very end, she went, I think we can determine from this poo chart the girls don't poop. There at you least go. I don't. And I went, perfect. Empirical data. 100%. Can't argue with that. Nope. It makes me laugh every time I think That's about it. That's pretty funny. That's pretty good. I've never heard a story before. That's pretty I mean, good. how often do we really sit and talk about poop, though? A disturbing oh, amount. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. But. I'm surprised this is the first time it's really come up in the in the podcast. Yeah. Because we thought yeah. it always comes back to poop. It always comes back to always. poop. Always. Don't know how. But it does. Look at the pretty gizzard on the couch. Oh, I can only see a little bit of her, though, because she's behind mm. said table. That's been her new spot. I came down here a couple times this week, and that's where she was at. She likes it there. She sits there being pretty. She feels like she has, like, a protection thing Probably, from, yeah. the, mm-hmm. from the table part. Yeah. This is my little cave. She's a good-looking kitty. She's a really good-looking kitty. Oh. Are you out of coffee? I'm out of coffee. You can have a sip of my coffee. Ew. Why? Ew. Try it. Ew. Try it. You might like it. You might. Sometimes I drink good things. No. Why? It's gross. How? Like this? Blech. No, really. Blech. Explain. <laughs> Blech. How is it black? Black. It's sweet. Blech. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It it's is for really you. Sweet. It's not sweet. No? No. Not sweet enough for you. Nope. You don't like the flavor though? Nope. You don't like the brown sugar pop tart flavor? It's like bitter brown sugar somehow. Oh my god. No, it's not. It's yeah. so sweet. I no, put way too not. much creamer in it and it's really awful. Bitter brown sugar. You're bitter brown sugar. That's not wrong, but that's beside the point. Okay. Maybe that's why I don't like it. It tastes too much like myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to tease myself. I'll just clean my shoulder like bubs. Yeah. <laughs> this this is truly the epitome of living with us today. It really so is. Far, this is. Totally living with us. This podcast yeah. is. It's l- genuinely like you are sitting in front of us watching us day. talk to yeah, each other on a is, normal day. This is how we are. It's something. Is is the term no holds barred? I don't know if we have to go that far. We have a little holds barred. I don't really understand that saying. I don't. The think. holds. They're they're not barred. <laughs> 
they oh well yeah, thanks there you go that's what they're getting at like none of the holds none of them none of they're, the holds wait all of them they're all unbarred i'm so confused are they barred or not barred they're not okay none of them no. none of them are barred holds are barred and when they say barred do they mean like they don't mean a guy with a little loot singing a song okay and do they mean like going and getting drunk at a bar no they mean barred. Like you're in jail. Yes. So no jail cells are barred. That's not exactly it, but kind of closer. Okay. Yeah. And why would that be a bad thing? Who said it's a bad thing? You did, because I said it and you said, no, let's not go that far. Oh, no, we got some holds that are still barred. I, I think. don't see any bars anywhere in this house. All right. I guess we have no holds barred. Hmm. Boom. What were we talking about? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this really is 100% it us. It really truly this is, is us. This is... Yep. Sorry about that. This is sorry, not sorry. Sorry, I'm I'm a little sorry. I'm not sorry. If they if they've stuck with us this long, yeah. they should know what they're really getting themselves into. I wonder if there is a way to get Advil to go out to all the listeners with the episode because some people are probably going to need it. Can we name it? Maybe take some head take some Advil, Advil necessary Advil. before yeah, use the Advil episode. Gets... Maybe not Advil though because we don't want them to think that we're. Sponsor. I was going to say, like, we should probably get a hold of Advil and see if they can sponsor. Like, us. yo, yo, listen like, to just a portion like, of this and you'll be like, yeah, no, here, take all the Advil you need. Look, guys, you, you have a product that gets rid of headaches. We have a product that gives headaches. So we should get together and make something happen here. Yeah. 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 If we want sponsorships, we're going to have to look outside of fast food because we keep talking shit on all the fast food. So, yeah. Advil. I mean, Advil how, and many, Tums. Uh, how many fast food places really sponsor like podcasts? And stuff? I mean, I don't really. I mean, realistic. I'm just saying, we're just shitting all over. <laughs> five guys can always hey. sponsor us. We've never talked shit on five guys. And probably. Well, they're putting one in town, so there might be, come a time well, when yeah, we do talk true. shit on five guys. So that is true. we never will. I'm doing a five guys and what was the other one? A Jimmy John's? We're getting a Jimmy John's, a five guys, and a Chipotle. Chipotle. It takes me a second Chipotle. to remember how to actually say it properly. Chipotle. Andrew always called it choplets. Chopplets. So in my head, when I go to tell somebody about it i always want to call it choplets and they'll be like because andrew ruins everything he doesn't ruin it though it's really cute oh, okay. my family is so weird with no. restaurants forgetting how the names are like andrew with chipotle it, it literally takes yeah. me a second to have to say it it's choplets and for the longest time my parents thought chick-fil-a Chick -a -fil. Chick -a -fil. Yeah, I forgot about that. And they genuinely they believed do, yeah. it was called Chick -a -fil, But I guess it was my dad's parents that thought it was Chick -a -fil, mm, So they okay. called it Chick -a -fil and told my parents they needed to go. Mm. So my parents always called it Chick -a -fil, And then the one day mom's like, oh, there's a Chick -a -fil. And I'm like, a what? A what? Coming in? And she's like, a Chick -a -fil? And I... I lost my shit because mm -hmm. that's hilarious. But they still, to this day, call it. They still call it Chicka Phil, yeah. But now they know that it is not actually Chicka Phil. Now it's it's humorously ironic. Yes. Before yes. it was just silly and done. Yeah. <laughs> this is also like us. This is when we would go just our separate done. ways, this, and yeah. I would watch something. This or is when we would, start playing video like, playing games, video and games or playing on our stuff. phone. And We're recording this on Memorial Day weekend. She's got a three day weekend. I sure do. Yep. And we spent yesterday playing lots of video games and not doing much. Yeah. You played video games with Andrew and I... You went to a salt room. Yes. To go get salty. So it was myself and Becca and one of Becca's friends. Right as we sat down, Becca's friend looked at us and went, very ironically, I've been limiting my salt intake mm. and now I'm sitting in a salt room. An assault room, mm -hmm. so for anyone that doesn't know, it's just this room in a building. There's a little pathway that you walk in, and then like the whole floor other than your little pathway is covered in like pink Himalayan salt. It's almost like walking in sand, but it's coarser than sand, mm -hmm. so it kind of felt mm -hmm. like little rocks. Was it kind of like walking into a litter box? I, I wouldn't know. I've never walked into a litter Did box. Did anybody poop in the corner? Not in my group. Mm -hmm. So there is this coarse sand, but it's... Mm -hmm. rock salt all on the ground and it's fairly deep because you could like dig your feet in like you do like if mm -hmm. you go to the beach or in a litter box or in yeah i'm sorry go ahead and then all of the walls have pink himalayan salt you know how you can get like the the salt lamps yes mm -hmm. those rocks were all over all okay. of the walls after you sit down and it starts they pump in i want to say airified salt because i don't know what you call it. Salt, saltified air saltified air yeah. you left and you literally i literally felt like i had been at the beach mm -hmm. like you know how just like salted you up. just yeah, feel that, like yeah. you, you kind of feel like gritty mm -hmm. and like i always feel a little gritty it, it was neat 
I don't know that it actually did anything. Did anything like I didn't notice it as much as they did. Like mm-hmm. Becca was like she could taste it. I'm not a, a dirty mouth breather. I'm a That's nose true. breather. And Becca kept saying she could taste it, but she was like <sighs> like sucking in. Yeah. So I didn't necessarily taste it. About an hour afterward, I came home right before I showered and I licked my lips. Mm-hmm. And you could taste it. And I could taste a little bit of salt. Mm-hmm. So I knew it was there. And then like, but it was, it was, it was different. I don't yeah. know. You're not instantly sold on the I'm not instantly sold, but I'm not. A salt room. And no offense to Becca and her friend, because we did have a lovely time. I mean, maybe like, a little offense. No, no offense to to them we did have a lovely time it was a nice conversation but another part of the activity is you're supposed to go and, and like relax relax like, and yeah. sit and like almost meditate mm-hmm. and not talk mm-hmm. they have spa like music playing yeah. mm-hmm. it's supposed to be very soothing very calming mm-hmm. but the whole time yeah. we were talking and giggling so it wasn't as therapeutic as it might have been so i feel like i would maybe try it again like i don't want to knock it yet it was a neat experience i'm glad i did it i don't think i got any of the benefits from it it was just kind of a cool experience to say Mm. i did it so if i'd ever do it again no offense becca but i probably wouldn't want to go with becca because Mm. becca and i like to have fun and we're silly and we like to talk and hang out and it would you're not getting the full we're not getting the full benefit because even when we go to yoga and we try to be you know like we both Mm. love yoga we both find it enjoyable but when becca and i go together we act like idiots. Yeah, it'd like, be like we're like picking at each other, or like punching each other, yeah. or giggling. Like that's just how we are. Mm-hmm. I don't feel like I get a really truly yeah. good experience when I go to yoga and Becca's there. Although I love when Becca and I go to yoga together, but we act like idiots. Becca ruins everything. No, that's <laughs> not what I mean at all. We just have too much fun. We can't take things seriously when we're together because we're just two goofballs that hang out. If I were to ever do it again, I think mm. I would need to do it. You have to take me instead because we always do everything really serious. Yeah. We're always just yeah. really focused and determined. Super duper serious. Yeah. So very serious. When I think super duper serious, I think boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I take my seriousness very seriously. I'm 100% not sure how you said that with a straight face. Like this super serious about it you know they can't oh they can feel it oh it's so very it'll translate Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so that was yesterday morning that was fun and then went to a farmer's market in town it's still very 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 early in the season though there were no farmers to be had yeah there's not a lot of full-grown farmers yet no no not even baby farmers yet it was more like informational at this point than anything yeah like these are farmers well we will have them somebody was selling seeds there was like a jewelry stand Mm -hmm. i don't know there so it was it was cool but there weren't very many booths and it wasn't a whole lot of stuff just because it is so new in the season like i told mama i probably won't go for like give him a couple weeks a month or so and then i'll go because then things will start well let's just start kicking in because june comes this week yeah this is memorial day weekend so this is a kickoff this is usually kickoff of summer so and we're starting to see we're supposed to be seeing like upper 70s low 80s next week i'm thinking maybe like the saturday before i go Mm -hmm. on vacation i'll try it and then also i have not, to deal with the back. farmers while you're gone yeah break it in the new farmers break- house training them that's great <laughs> thanks well, i'll wait until i get back then and then okay, i'll go yeah, and get a farmer maybe i'll then go you'll come and back. i just won't buy a farmer how's you'll that? come back and me and the farmer will have a bond and you'll be all upset i want a farmer of my own be like, eh, just drop a farmer off with me high five i can't reach no oh, he's done well sir i'm high-fiving you so we did that and then we went to a local store that is a i don't even know what you'd call that oh did you go there yeah oh, i didn't know you were going so there. it is let me let me look it up here quick because it, it'll it explain it's an apothecary. kind of it's an eco-friendly specialty store they sell low to no packaged items bulk foods reusables and earth-friendly soap refills local items and much more so you go in and you get a container for certain things that you want mm. and you can buy by the ounce of like they have soap refills they have foods they have loose leaf teas mm-hmm. they have nuts they have all, all kinds of stuff i've never been in the store and they moved they just Mm -hmm. recently moved to a bigger location it's beautiful Hmm. you'll have to come in one of these days i feel like you might like it because that's where i got you that soap the one time the beard soap or the something or other Mm -hmm. head soap i don't think i use it no because then you got dirts no i don't think it was soap i think it was um like conditioner oh beard yeah you're the one that told me to get it for you i tried it for a little bit and it just made my beard feel all greasy it's a it's a cool store i enjoy it then i went out to lunch with my parents and then i came home and you were playing video games with my well you were waiting i was waiting to play video games (laughs) and then and then he started playing and we played for a little bit and then he went off to do other things because he had stuff 
stuff lined up and yeah. you were watching terrible <laughs> TV and shows. And then he came downstairs and was like, hello, girlfriend. And then he heard you're the like, voice. You're like, you, are you done? I'm like, are you done? And then you turned around and you didn't even look at the TV yet. You heard mm-hmm. the voice and you're like, oh, oh no. well, I'm going to go back upstairs and play then. Yep. I was watching the first episode of season three of The Kardashians. Mm-hmm. I heard Kim. I was like, yeah, I'm, <laughs> it I'm was. doing something else. You heard Kim say something mm-hmm. and you're like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm done. I swear you're the only guy in the world that wouldn't want to watch it just to look at them. Maybe like five years ago. Yeah. We've had this looking, discussion Yeah, they're looking a little weird now. But then I went upstairs. It was really weird. So I went back upstairs mm-hmm. and had the camera off, had the lights off, had everything off, mm-hmm. just jumping into other people's games. Were you streaming? No. That's okay, what I'm saying. You, okay, I had, you were just had playing. Okay. Not streaming, okay. not playing, not recording, not anything. Just okay. playing, jumping into people's games. And it was pretty nice. Hmm. Just playing the game to play the game because you didn't have to worry about being funny or entertaining yeah no, i just played the game Could just play yep so it's kind of nice for a change of pace Good. i don't know if we're doing anything today or not i haven't heard from your brother so. well it's still really early it's really early for him yeah i mean it's early for us it's not even 10 o'clock yet i don't think it's 10 till but still yeah super early so it's like seven his time there's no way he's gonna be up yet matt's birthday party was the night before last so <laughs> brother <laughs> was pretty so rough yeah he was in rough shape i don't think matt listens but if you do matt happy bir- belated birthday yeah i don't know what we're doing today but this is probably gonna be the last weekend for some deep rock for a minute why oh uh, wait Will he play Diablo with you? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't yeah, yeah, know yeah. that if he played that or The whole crew's not. playing oh, okay. Diablo. Oh, good. Yeah, the whole crew's playing Diablo. I thought you meant like you were ditching my brother for playing video games so you could play Diablo. And I'm like, that doesn't sound I can't, right. I can't get that lucky. Oh, <laughs> that's mean. Well, I'm okay with you playing video games with Andrew because after I watched the Kardashian episode, then I realized that Queer Eye had a mm-hmm. new season out. Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, I know what I'm doing mm-hmm. all day. I love it. It makes you me do. happy. Yeah, and no. I cry every episode. Almost every Almost episode. every episode. Me too. But like happy cry. Oh. You're such a jerk. I am. Why can't you just appreciate things that I like? I absolutely. I You like it and I'm glad that you like it and you don't try to push it on me because no, you know that never. I won't like no. it. I'm still going to talk a little bit of shit. Cause I know. That's... but I, And I don't know why I like the Kardashians show so much. It's it's good background noise. Like it's sure, not yeah. one of those things that I'll you like don't just sit, sit and watch it. And watch. Yeah. I don't sit and watch TV. Anything. Yeah. Really. It's usually on in the background and I'm like mm-hmm. scrolling on something or playing my stupid game or doing you know something so it's good background noise because I don't really have to pay attention yeah queer I, I I tend to watch a little bit more like I'll still do other things but I'm more focused because they're helping to make somebody's life better those guys are kind of entertaining I'm not gonna lie they are entertaining they are they're very they are, entertaining they're, they're entertaining at times but sometimes it's just a little bit too much for me it's just like okay I, I get that yeah. no I totally get that it's such a uplifting show to watch mm-hmm. because you start with somebody who's really just down a on their mess. luck. I don't want to call them a hot mess, but mm-hmm. kind of. Mm-hmm. They've gone through some things in their life and they need they need help. Mm-hmm. And these guys just come rolling in and she just jumped in the window. Mm-hmm. She's so quiet. She's very quiet. She's very sneaky. She's very stealthy. So she used to stalk Casper and Casper was blind. So Casper couldn't see her coming. So we had a collar with a bell on it that we used to put on bubs for the same reason. And it worked for a little while. And then the one day we watched Gizzard stalk Casper up the steps at full speed without making a sound. I don't know how she did not make that bell go off. It was oh insane. God. She is the sneakiest little sneak in the she world. She could do whatever she wanted with that bell on and it would not make a it sound. It would not. And I like tingle. went over and like jiggled it to make sure it was working and it's it bells. Somehow she was just so smooth that yep. it would not go off. So it's like, all right, this is pointless. So, But then we realized that Casper was really smart and would know anyway. Yeah, I don't Casper know how she could yeah. do it. Her spidey senses were amazing incredible yeah god i miss that cat She's pretty i cat. miss her so much mm-hmm. when i was at the vet with finnegan the doctor that came in on thanksgiving to help us with casper was the one that i had the appointment with and while i had him there i just wanted to thank him again for coming in on thanksgiving night to help us with casper because i said to him i was like that's not how anybody wants to spend a day off or a holiday off and we really appreciate it he didn't seem like he knew what to say like i think i caught him off guard a little bit and he was just like well thank you i, I appreciate you saying that and then we just kind of like went on with finnegan but it just is it something I needed to say to him because I've wanted to, but I couldn't have done it. Yeah. So I appreciate that you did because we really did appreciate him coming in because I, I don't want to get emotional and I don't mm-hmm. want to cry and it's going to make me cry a little bit, but we couldn't have let her no. live that night the way she was. No. There's That was miserable. It would have been cruel yeah. to make her live that long. Like I was to the point where I'm like, if they won't do something, we're going to have to, mm-hmm. we're going to figure something out. But we didn't have to because 
No. Well, we, we had to take her in. Yeah, but still, I mean, we didn't. And he was wonderful and very kind, even on, you know, a holiday. He came in and was very professional, very sweet about it. Tried to calm us down. Well, me down. You were the rock in that, in that instance. Mm-hmm. There has to be something under that couch. I don't think there is. There might be toys or something. Mm. Or a mouse. I'll go look. But he does it every time. So if it wouldn't be a mouse, it would be strange that the mouse would always hang out and listen to our podcast. He's the biggest fan. He comes out just to listen to the pod. A toy. Bubs is very helpful. Okay, so there were two mice toys. Mouse toys. Where'd you put them? I put them over here. You moved them. He was going to play with one. Well, he can come over here and play with them. You now he's sniffing under the couch again. He's a whack job. That's a cat. He's, he's double checking your work to make sure you my didn't work, leave anything there. My work is exceptional. I left the yellow ball under there. So I'm pretty sure that's oh, the yellow ball. Oh, and now has he's eating fuzz. Yep. Why did you yell at Gizzard? Because the mouses are missing yeah, tails? Yeah, because the mouses are missing tails. Do you think she ate them? Absolutely. Ew. Yeah. She's a goofball. She probably thought they were caterpillars. Or centipedes, not caterpillars. Now, now he has his sister looking under like you made it you made it more intriguing it, now yeah. to look under the couch like oh dad's looking under dad the was couch. Under there. Must be something. what's under there this what is do great we know about? whack jobs oh wow, they're so weird yep especially yours what dude he dude. is ours okay whatever you say yours does anybody else fight with their significant other about like this <laughs> like this though not like, like it's no mine, it's mine it's, mine. it's, mine. No, 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 it's, it's yours, yours. <laughs> I want nothing to do with this animal. That's, That's not, not true. true. We want love a little him. bit to do with him. We love all of our animals. Yeah. I mean, except for Gizzard. Yeah. She's gross. See, we can't even be serious about it without I doing know. it. Oh, I know we can't. We love all of our animals <laughs> except for that one. <laughs> Look at what you've done to me. Oh, hell no. <laughs> hell oh, man. no. That was one of those times I wish we were taping this like video. <laughs> Just to see yeah, my reaction. Because I was looking back at the kids yeah. and I whipped my hand whipped around, around like, like <gasps> what? <laughs> How dare you? How dare, How dare you speak this truth? Whoa, Whoa. That is not the look that you got, sir. Oh, my bad. I must have misinterpreted. You misinterpret a lot of things. I, it's, yeah, I'm not, yeah. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> Big boy words, babe. No. Big boy words. You can't make me. Mm. Nope. Bloop, bloop, bloop. This is literally our life. Bloop, bloop, bloop. This right here. And this will continue all day. He will bloop, bloop, bloop me all day. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh, dear. I'm oh. out of coffee now. I have been out of coffee. I have iced coffee upstairs. I don't, don't like that. I mean, I guess I do, but ew. I mean, have you ever tried it? Yes. But using your own creamer and some sugar? Yes. No, you haven't. No, I haven't. You're such a liar. I just don't want to. Cold coffee is wrong. Cold coffee is only wrong if it's not meant to be cold. Like if you have a hot cup of coffee and it gets cold. Okay, we won't have this conversation. We have this conversation too frequently. And... Bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh my God. A significant portion of our life is discussing what is too hot and too cold. It really is. It is really, like, really. And, and, and we've never on the cold agreed. Side. You're always always on the cold side always on the cold no the side. coffee's allowed to be cold no it's not it should be hot the weather's allowed to be cold no it's not it should be hot <laughs> it's so hot it is 20 oh, degrees outside there see i say it's too hot so there i'm not on the cold side because you're on the cold side because you want the cold because oh, it's it too hot cold. okay 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 yeah i always root for cold you always root for cold unless i want a hot cup of coffee or a hot bath and then it has to be the hottest thing hot. in the world yeah I'm, if it doesn't take off three layers of skin off the roof of my mouth then listen, i don't want it and listen. i'm talking about the bath right now <laughs> Off the roof of my mouth. Yep, yep. It's just a joke when we say that I'm, no, like, it's I'm making not. me soup. I'm not actually eating. You're, making, you're still making me soup. <laughs> but I'm not eating. I'm still making you soup. <laughs> you're not making me soup. No, I'm not making you soup. I'm making me soup. I'm just a me pour over. <laughs> what? No. I don't even want to think of what that could mean. T- I take no. a shower. You pour the water over. Uh, okay. What the hell, man? Think about it, babe. Go into the dirty section of your brain and think about what a me pour over could mean. Oh, I Okay. Know. Well, good. I guess I'm more perverted than you. Duh. I'm going to slap that smirk right off your face. Beep, beep. Plus, there's looking at you like, Dad, you better knock it off. You're going to make her mad. No, he's not. He's looking at me like, how can I get on that lap? Well, that's true. This chair has arms. I don't like that. Look, buddy. You can flip them up, then you can get up, but I'm not going to do that. I don't want you up here. That was mean. I'm a jerk. You him. showed him exactly how to do it. He'll figure it out, too. He will. So, after last check. week, and Bubs figured out how to push the button on the automatic feeder, <sighs> after we recorded everything last week, we were out. Where were we? I forget where we were at. We might have been in the back room. We heard the feeder go off again. Came downstairs. There he was. All three of... Th- no, 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 no. The feeder didn't go off. No, no, no. I'm lying. The feeder did go off. We heard a weird thumping. Boom, boom, boom. Yes. 
Yes. We heard a weird thumping, and I went over and looked down in the basement, and all three kitties were like swarming it around <laughs> it. And Bubs was there, like headbutting the damn thing into the wall while the other two were watching. And he got nuggets out. He did. He got, but he didn't hit the button. He just managed no, to get some loose ones it, out. Yeah. Shooed everyone out of the basement and grabbed the feeder, took it over to the other room, took it apart, and pulled the physical buttons out of the damn thing. Yeah. And then put it back together, put it back over there. And over the next couple of days, I would go downstairs to feed Gizzard, and it would be knocked sideways or knocked loopy or something because somebody was down there headbutting it, trying to get it to work. <laughs> but the past couple of days, it's just been sitting there. Nothing's been knocked loopy. It hasn't been turned or anything. So I think they figured out that it's been fixed. Look at him. He looks. He looks like he's like glaring at mm-hmm. you. He's laying on the back of the couch, but mm-hmm. he's got this look on his face like, you son, you of, a bitch. son of a bitch. But yeah, I pulled the buttons out. So now it'll, I have a pencil sitting over there in case he come down without the, the phone. So you can't use the app. You just push it and hit the button. And it's the middle one? The middle button. Okay. Yep. So that's been working. And yeah, like I said, the past couple of days, it hasn't seemed to be moved or anything. So I think they've given up hasn't on it for now. Yeah. He's entirely too he's smart way too for smart. his own good. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's naughty mm-hmm. sausage. Super naughty sausage. Super naughty glary sausage. Glary. Very solid. Bloop, bloop, bloop. What? Always with the bloop, bloop, bloop. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course you don't. <laughs> Why am I so itchy? Salt. I washed. Oh. I took a shower yesterday. Salt. No. Oh. Maybe. Probably salt. But wouldn't it be a, a natural exfoliator? Thought I heard something. Did you fart? No. Sound like your cat being bad. My cat is on the back of the couch. One of them. Oh my god. Now they're all mine when they're bad. No, Gizzard's not yours. Oh, you can't have Gizzard. Yeah, she's mine. You don't want her anyways. I, you think she's I, dumb and she smells bad. What were you doing? I'm the one that says uh, she doesn't <laughs> smell bad. I know what the sound was. What? Gizzard went up to get the third mouse. Oh. <laughs> I was like sitting here and I saw something out of the corner of my eyes. I looked and it was the mouse hit the ground and then Gizzard <laughs> came down off the side of the steps after it. So all three mice are over here now. She's like, it needs its friend. Yeah. No, I need to put all three I of them under the, the couch. Collection. <laughs> so she brought the other one down. Now she's over there just gnawing on that one. Gizzard. <laughs> Let her. They're her toys. She just gnawed on her. <laughs> she can do whatever she wants. They're her toys. She can nom on her toys. She can nom if she wants to. She can leave her mouse behind. But if her mouse don't nom, and if they don't nom, then they're, they're no mouse of mine. She can nom. She can nom. Bloop. I wanted bloop, to do bloop. something about the tail. Uh, the mouse tail. But. Yeah, I'm going to gnaw your tail off. This is why I was going to say this is also uh, it's still also conversations that happen in our house. There's lots of mm-hmm. making up songs about the cats. Oh, my God. There's so many songs. I'm not that. sure why you want to nom off her tail. She nommed off the mouse's tail. That's only fair. They should get to nom off her tail. Not you. They don't have mouths. They're not real. Exactly. So she can rip off their tails. Whoa. You can't bite off her tail. <laughs> Is she looking at you like, Dad? No, she's just being a goofball. She's so cute. Playing with her mouses. Mm-hmm. She's going back and forth. Is she? <laughs> nope, flop. Mm. You reminded her that she has those toys. Yeah. And then she's mm-hmm. like, wait a minute. I got all these. She's this like surrounded by mouse. Mouses. <laughs> she's got one. Of Mice. Them. Mouses. I know. I like mouses better. Mouses. Too. Speaking of mouses. Mouses. Did I tell you that the parents found another mouse in their stove? No. You knew about the first one, right? You did tell me about the first one, yeah. I got a message from mama yesterday morning saying, Dirt thinks he saw a mouse. We think we have another one in the stove. Mm-hmm. So they put the trap out. Mm-hmm. She messaged me this morning, actually, right after we started recording, saying that... They got woken up in the middle of the night last night to the trap going off. Hmm. So they had another one. So now their plan is to pull the oven out. Mm, see what's behind it. And check and make sure they don't have a nest. Which oven is it? Is it the end wall? No, it's That's like the big, the, the big oven. Mm. And it's like... That won't be as hard to pull out. No, it won't be. It won't be as bad. So they had mice living in, but not really in their oven. Because when I yeah. think of in their oven, I think yeah, like, like you open in, the door in. and you can see it. Ah! But like she uses the oven and it's yeah. not, the mice aren't getting into anything. Like they're not burning themselves. They're just kind of in and behind. She's pulling herself across She's the, the couch. Yeah. You're silly. That. Come here. I want to boop. She does that at the bottom of steps too. It's really fun. It's so cute when she does it. Which no. means she needs trimmed again. She gave me a shred of hope that I could get a boop. No, no. Here she comes. Here she comes. Here she comes. Nope. She's going to go play drums. But not like Finny played drums. No, no. Well, now she's just inspecting the wall. Gizzard. Hey, she's a little it's her room. She can do yeah, what she, she wants. Do whatever she wants. It's her room. She wants to inspect the wall. She can inspect the wall. You do, you little girl. He only tells that to her. All the other cats are like, why can't you be more bigger? Why can't you be more like Gizzard? Stinky. No, maybe not stinky. He's glaring at you he's, again. He is not done. happy with you today. He's so done with me. 
Oh, that Thank God I belong to mom. Yep. Yeah, see, <laughs> I like see, that you're see. like we both have completely different understandings of what mm-hmm. he's saying. This is also this yeah. truly is encapsulates our relationship. You don't speak cat very well, so sometimes you miss the interpretations. <laughs> yeah. No. Thank God I have you in my life who mm-hmm. you know speaks cat so well that you can just tell me every time what they're saying. Mm-hmm. It's so weird though that they're always on your side. I, I, mean, I don't understand how we can have three animals and all of them always agree with whatever your point of view is. I mean, No one ever agrees with me, ever. I can't help that I have a good ever. point of view on everything. You have a good point of view on everything. Yes. And so the cats just automatically agree with you because they're like, well, he's right. He's obviously, yeah. It's uncanny that you're the only one that can speak cat and that they always agree with you. Mm-hmm. It's it's incredible, in fact. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of neat. Mm, very neat. Neat how that works. Very neat how that works. Neat, neat, neat. Hmm. I'm oh, sorry, what? Mm-hmm. Bloop, bloop, bloop. This is how he diffuses me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I don't really need diffused. I'm not actually mad, but this is pretty mad. She hit me. I edited it out. <laughs> now I want to hit you. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Jerk. What? What's he doing? Oh, he's cleaning. He's cleaning. Cleaning his bitch slapper. You're going to get it. No. Oh. If anybody's going to get it, it's going to be you. No. No, he's cleaning both the bitch slappers. He's like, I got one for each of you. I got one for you. Don't fight. I can hit you both. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> He hits hard, too. He does. And then the other day when he was being all pissy, I was like smacking his smacks. He didn't know what to do. <laughs> so like he was like swiping at me and I was swiping. And we would hit and then we would hit so like hard. Like high five? Yeah. But he, he would hit so hard he would roll himself. <laughs> he didn't know what to do about it. He's like, okay, this isn't working. And he's just like, I, I don't know what to do. I mean, he's... He's, he's, he's a, a big kitty. He's a big kitty and he's mm-hmm. tough. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He cracks knuckles when he swats yeah. your hand. Sorry, mm-hmm. Michelle. Sorry, yeah. But okay. he's such a lovable so, turd. He is. It's so random. So weird. Because he's like, he, pr- he is the most lovable cat we have. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then just out of that left field, pithy. Where did the little one go? She's behind the drum set. Oh, so she really is going to No, she's just curled up over there by the footstool. Oh, where else would you lay? Right? And then Finney is probably in the catio. He's in the catio, absolutely. Yeah. Definitely. He's like, ah. He was perched on the the arm of the chair today. Yeah, I don't know how he does I don't know. that. He's cat thing, I guess. He's incredible. It's sad that he was sick and he didn't get to see that weird bird. <laughs> it made weird me bird. think again. I yeah, I actually saw the weird bird with another weird bird. Oh yeah. I was coming home from getting dinner last night, and I was coming up the one street. Mm-hmm. You know, at the top of the street, then you have to make the left because it's the T, and yeah. then it got to the yeah. the bent over lady's house. Mm-hmm. It's always going to be called that. Mm-hmm. And there was a kitty walking through that yard. And there was another kitty across the street that was trying to come up behind. And the kitty that was trying to come up behind was the weird kitty. Mm-hmm. The weird bird. The weird, yeah, sorry, weird bird. Then I like was driving up and I slowed down because I didn't want to hit the weird bird. And the weird bird looked at me and meowed and then turned around and went into the yard. And then so I went and then I looked in my rearview mirror and the weird bird went to follow the other weird bird. So <laughs> earlier this week, she was doing, it was Thursday, wasn't it? Because you were getting the garbage in the front room yes. together. Yes. And I was like, girlfriend, you have to come look at this. And she's like, I'm doing, she, you're I real was, mad. Because you're I was. So, you're like, I'm doing something. I was like, girlfriend, no. you got to come. You got to come. Girlfriend, come. Girlfriend. And this she's is like, literally what he did. Stomping out. What? I said, what kind of bird is that? There's this cat, this like stray cat that was perched on top of the one in of the fence pets. poles in the neighbor's <laughs> yard, just perched, like looking around like a like a bird. Like, I was like, what kind of what kind of weird bird is that? And then my my mood immediately changed. And I'm yeah. like, oh, that's so cute. I was that's why cleaning out the litter box. I was like, you can't wait three seconds while I finish cleaning up the litter box. I didn't know box. if the bird would still be there. I know, I but I didn't off. know at the time. That's why I'm like, come on, boyfriend. And you don't use your words and tell me what you need me to see or what you I wanted me to do. I don't want to do that. It ruins it. I know. But sometimes it would be well, helpful. Of, girlfriend, you need to come look at this cat sitting on top of this fence post so I could tell you that it's a weird bird because it's funny. Is that what you want? No. Right? But, but you could have been like, I need you to come and look at this thing before it goes away. I'm pretty sure I did. No, you didn't. I'm pretty sure I did. And you're just too busy being angry. Uh oh. Uh oh. What? Both kitties are cleaning. Oh, Finn's gonna get it. Oh, Gizzard is not cleaning her bitch slapper. She's cleaning her beautiful little dirty face. Oh. Beautiful little dirty face. I mean, it must be dirty if she's cleaning. That's Gizzard, yeah. She is perched on the very top of her cat tower. Yeah, that's perfect. Cat tree, cat tower, whatever it's called. Yep, yep, yep. 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 Yep.
are true followers. What are you talking about? This is going to bring so many people in. They're going to be like, this is fantastic. This is the best shit ever. Why don't they do this shit most of the time? Why do we have to listen to stupid ass Reddit where we can just be like, that's wrong. Yeah. I've had so many people be like, we did not agree with you. Well, that's the point of it. I know. Three Rin does not like, I don't think, she does. She cracks up every time, but she does not like when we do game night because she does not agree <laughs> with our answer sometimes. She said the one day she was driving in her car and she yelled at us. She's like, no, why would you pick that? But she didn't remember what it was. I mean, that's the point of it. If, I, if we're just going to agree with everything, that nobody would want that. That'd and just be why boring. Why does anybody want to listen to us? Because 90% of the time we agree on everything. Yeah. Is that boring? No, we're entertaining as fuck. <laughs> Hell yeah, we are. Like this. Oh, damn, that's so entertaining. That's how I want to be entertaining. Exactly. Yep. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. That was so entertaining. I peed a little. No. I got to stop doing this because I can hear myself, my voice. The bouncing? Yeah. Mm. I'm bouncing my legs. So I keep sounding all vibrating. So what do we got going on this week? Um, um, going over to the parents for barbecue tomorrow. We have tomorrow. to keep that in because we were perfectly in sync. That's what we do. We're yeah. always perfectly we're in going, sync. That's what we do. We are. Boop, boop. Bye, bye, bye. No, 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 no. Why do you make me regret speaking? <laughs> Wow. <laughs> now you know how I feel every fucking day. I don't know what you're talking about. Going to the parents' house for a cookout tomorrow. Ribs. Yes, they're making ribs. In my belly. They're not making them in your belly, but they are making it for your for belly. For my belly. Yes. Uh, What's I'm everybody else going to eat? pasta salad. I'm making oh, pasta right. salad. That's Monday. That's Monday. Tuesday, I'm... I have some work stuff. Yes. And then I, I don't be... I don't think we actually have a whole lot going on this week, oddly. I don't think we do either. I think well, this is... I have been working to get everything caught up this week. So Tuesday is going to be editing this since you're off tomorrow. Yes. So Tuesday will be podcast editing day, hoping to get it together and ready to go. Mm -hmm. And then that's what's going on. I need Wednesday, to Wednesday and Thursday, I need to get the video for the following Monday ready and to go because yes. since I pre ordered, which you should never pre order games, but I did. Why should you never do it? Because reasons I'm not going to get into, but you oh, shouldn't, okay. shouldn't. Pre-ordering games is just the state of the AAA games, the state of games right now oh, is so yeah, fucking terrible. Me, yeah. So another com another Lord of the Rings game just came out, Gollum. I've oh never God, seen a game. Awful. I've never seen a game get so eviscerated by reviews before. It was so bad. What was that one where IGN? Yeah, IGN's. IGN does reviews on games. And even on bad games, they still find something they positive or upbeat to it. say. This Gollum game, they couldn't even, like, they didn't even try to say something positive. It was like the fifth or sixth game this year so far that the, like the studio. Big name studio game. That the studio has issued an apology for sucking. But it's not the same studio, right? No. no okay, that's what studios, I didn't, I thought. The, like it's, okay. a, it's, a, it's not like it's one studio that's putting out crap. It's a whole fucking AAA horse shit. But he. Industry. But yeah, you pre-ordered pre Diablo, Diablo, which nope. you had already played, so you know that you're yeah. going to enjoy it. Well, I know I'm going to enjoy the beginning of it. Yeah, because that was the whole problem with from last year, year before. Uh, the uh, New World, New World gameplay was fantastic right up until the end. Then you hit end game, and it was just horse shit. It hmm. was just garbage, but still. Yeah, I pre-ordered it, so I get early access on Friday. Actually, Thursday night at seven. Yeah, seven our time. Uh, Wasn't yes, it? yes, okay, seven yeah. our time. Yeah, because it's four o'clock Pacific so next, time. So next weekend is going to be going to be Diablo tastic. And I'm going to say it. And you're going to want. I'm do not going to. No, 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 I'm not going to say what day. Aaron's birthday is next week. I don't know what you're talking about. He does not like people to know when his birthday is, so okay. I will not say what the day is. And you can very, you can back me up on this. I can't. You can one hundred percent back me up on this. You totally can. get it, I but do. you still get upset. It makes so, me. It doesn't make me upset. It makes me sad. I'm not going to be. I was going to be all dramatic, but I'm not going to. I was going to say my birthday is cursed, but it's not. I just have really bad luck with my birthday, and for as long as I can remember, people would try to do something for me on my birthday, and it would just go south. No matter what they would do, they would try something, and, and I would appreciate the effort. But it would always just turn out badly. Yeah. People started knowing it. And I started telling people that. Like, oh, don't do anything for my birthday, you know, because it always just, it never goes right. And I don't know what it is. And then that made them try and they, harder. And then it just shit the bed even Worse. harder. Worse. So it's awful. And, you know, I try to explain to him, like, look, you know, it, it never goes right. It's always something bad. So just don't do anything. I would appreciate it if you just don't do anything. And, and oh, well then, well, then we must make it happen. And I totally get that. So I just stopped telling people when my birthday is. I just, I just don't, don't tell anybody when my birthday is. So that mm -hmm. way they can't can't do anything yeah. and it won't blow up in her face because and it has multiple it got to times the point, like i would try to do things and even like i would make a special dinner dinner would burn yeah. it didn't matter what we tried to do mm -hmm. it always we would try to go somewhere and then like 
we They'd would be closed, be, or the weather would be, be terrible, closed, or the weather or the would be terrible. Would break down yeah, I mean, it was always something. Always, and it was getting to the point where I was spending my birthday consoling other people. Yeah, that's no. Because like, oh, I feel so bad. Like, yeah, okay, that's yeah. I told you, stop it. Now you're making me feel bad for you on my birthday. So yeah. I just stop telling people what my birthday yeah. is, and that's the long and short of it. There's no like big thing. It's not like oh, age. I don't want to talk no. about age. I'm, no. I have no issues with my age no. or anything like that. It's just people would try to do nice stuff with to me, nice stuff to me. Hey, Whoa. people would try to do nice stuff for me on my birthday which i appreciate i yeah, appreciate the sentiment behind it 100 totally a bunch <laughs> 100 but, totally a bunch but it would just shit the bed every single every time. time and then so, everybody would feel bad and it's just like yeah. it's not worth it so, so I, just stopped. I don't even buy you cards anymore because yeah. i mean we don't really buy cards for each I'd other get a paper cut and that actually has happened yeah usually on his birthday like we'll wake up i'll tell him happy birthday and then mo- i mean it's usually on a weekday so usually yeah. we both go to work now this- well no because i would always i would always take off on my well, birthday that's true you would take off on your birthday but i, I would go to work and yeah. then this year he's gonna play video games on his birthday and i'm gonna do my thing and mm-hmm. it's gonna be i'll day. either make him dinner or get him pizza or something yeah. like for dinner it's gonna be another normal day like it always is because that's how he that's prefers how I prefer it, it yeah. i don't fight it anymore because mm-hmm. i don't want him to have to console me on his birthday and that's literally what's happened f- several years mm-hmm. so i just he doesn't get mad at me for not trying to do anything nope. in fact i think he gets more upset if i try yep because then he just feels bad mm-hmm. but it's his birthday so he'll play diablo and it'll probably not do start or something stuff. yeah probably <laughs> sorry i shouldn't probably. have jinxed it yeah. but you're probably not wrong but you'll play video games or something on your birthday and mm-hmm. i'll just kind of go do my thing and well it'll be a normal i'm gonna spend the whole day punching kitties whoa starting with you oh it's a gizzard it is a gizzard stalking another mouse. oh where'd this mouse come from you brought it down that was the one that you brought down i like this one because it's gray like me oh i got you a birthday kitten oh Woo-hoo! you got a book i got the book you got, got the, the book, book. I got the bup. I got oh, the bup. Okay. Oh, what were you going with? You got the bup. You got the bup. 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 Oh. You got the bup. I like mine better. You got the bup. You've got the bup. You've got the bup. Hey, you got the bup. We are getting two dirty looks now. <laughs> Gizzard's like, what the fuck? And Bubs is like, try and sleep, guys. Keep it down a little bit. What is this? Funny. We say that to you every night when we're trying to go to sleep and you yeah. decide to meow at the top of your lungs. Wow. Like that. Wow. And Gizzard's looking at you like, wow. Dad, it's not bedtime and brother is not doing it. Shush. It's okay, little Gizzard. You and are. And she's just like. I know. And then she just put, she's like, oh, okay, Dad, thanks. Okay. Oh. The love that that little thing has for you is about. uncanny. She just steals my heat. And your heart. No, no, no. She did. Oh, maybe a little. She totally did. All right. What? I think that we're we have. I think we're going to call it there because I think it's All probably right. time to get some foods. Food. Yeah, I could go for some foods in figured, my belly hole. I figured you could. Yep, yep, we'll yep. have to decide what we want today. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed your Memorial Day yeah. weekend and had some grilling and it's time for summer. Yay. Woo. Woo, woo, woo. And, Warm, uh, man. Let's turn on the air conditioners. Let's turn on the air conditioner on has air been on for like a month. I walk into the bedroom in the middle of the night. It's like walking into a fucking walk-in it's cooler. It's so nice. No, it's not. Even you're like, it's a little chilly in the morning. Yeah, but it's still so mm, nice. No, it's terrible. Awful. You're so Hate terrible it. and awful. And I mean have it. my moments, yeah. <laughs> so, all right, everybody. We will see you next week if I have not frozen in place and if she can tear me away from the computer. I might not be able to, but we'll try. We can just do the podcast from Diablo. From Diablo. Yeah. Just, okay. I got a mic up there. We'll just, okay. We'll just plug it in and be, be you'll, I'll, I'll be talking and you'll be like, ah, 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 as you're like attacking things. Yeah, that's how I do it. Ah, ah, ah. I know I've heard you play games. You literally make noises like that when you're playing the game. You were yelling something last night while you were playing a game with Andrew. I'm always I yelling something. I know, but I don't know what you were yelling but it almost sounded like girlfriend but i knew it wasn't girlfriend and i had to like stop and wait though to see if you were actually yelling for me like something was wrong i don't know what what it was you were yelling but you were yelling something and it kind of sounded like you were screaming girlfriend and i'm like did you did you hear me st- screaming alan half the night i did i did hear alan <laughs> there was some guy in his stream his name was alan something and every time and he would say his name like oh hey that's what just about and he'd say alan i go alan alan <laughs> Alan! Every time. Maybe that's what you were screaming and Alan! I thought it was girlfriend. Alan! That probably wasn't. Alan! And Alan! Andrew loved every second of it, didn't and he? And all the bugs in the game, whenever you tame a bug, his name is Steve. Everyone. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Steve! <laughs> Steve! Alan! <laughs> he hated you, didn't he? No, he bothered you. Yeah. <laughs>
I, 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 it's, it's a joke that doesn't get old ever. Alan! <laughs> it's true. It makes me laugh every time. Alan! Okay. Pusser would like on your lap. That sucks. You should want something else. All right. We're going right. to go. Food. Yummy. Oh. In my belly. Not the ribs. That's tomorrow. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, nom, nom. Yep. See you next week, everybody. Bye. Bye.